the end of September, my friend Snigda and I went on an impromptu road trip up the coast of Maine. Here's a little summary of our journey. Our first stop was the little beach town of Ogunquit, and this was mainly a stop to stretch our legs after driving up from Boston that afternoon. Ogunquit is one of the southernmost towns in the state of Maine along its scenic Route 1 coastal highway, which is the road we took for the majority of the trip. We arrived in Portland that evening and began exploring Maine's largest city the following day. While there, we booked tickets on a lobster charter to get the quintessential Maine experience of going lobstering. The crew was incredible and we learned so much about the process of catching lobsters and all of the rules and regulations around which you can keep and sell. On the boat, we got our first glimpse of the Portland headlight, which we would visit on foot the following day. Snigda and I both picked out lobsters from the boat's catch that day for dinner. All we had to do was bring them to the Portland Lobster Co. restaurant right off of the dock and they cooked them up for us. The next morning, we did some souvenir shopping before heading to Fort Williams Park to see the Portland headlight up close. The headlight is the oldest lighthouse in Maine, with construction beginning in 1787 at the directive of George Washington. Back then, Maine was actually still part of the state of Massachusetts. That afternoon, we continued our drive north and stopped in the city of Rockland for dinner. We then arrived at our farmhouse Airbnb in the quaint town of Winterport. After a good night's rest and some homemade apple pie, we drove our final leg of the journey to Acadia National Park on Mount Desert Island.
Like many parts of Maine, the park is known for its rocky cliffs and pine-covered islands. The nearest town to Acadia National Park is Bar Harbor. This was the perfect place to grab dinner after hiking and conclude our road trip.